It's the 6th of August 2018, you're watching Marvel Contest of Champions News, I'm Rich the Man, make sure you're subscribing to the channel by hitting that subscribe button. So let's roll the intro and then talk about the news. Roll it. Marvel Contest of Champions news time, and if this message is kind of uh, annoying you, yeah, it's annoying me as well. I was just about to get my 100% done of Master, moving on to the second half, because I've done like chapter 2 of, we're well, just about to complete chapter 2 of uh, Uncollected, so Heroic Master, and I'm just about to do uh, Uncollected. Uh, yeah, I'm very annoyed with this, because I like a bit of pacing, I like getting stuff done, and I always aim for myself to complete it within a week. Anyway, that's that's by the by. The annoying, frustrating thing that we've got at the moment is this... I don't know what's going on. We're going to cover this in a moment. But yes, welcome back to Marvel Contest Champions News. Let's jump into the stories. So it looks like a game we're into another frustrating aspect in time within the game. In the last 72 hours, it has been around about three, maybe four, I don't even, could be up to five times that the game has gone down and we've entered emergency maintenance. There's been not a lot said on the subject by Kabam's part. I don't know if they're working on something. I don't know whether or not there's been an update issue. Are they trying to patch something? Uh, is it a case that the servers are causing a great issue over in Canada? I do not know, but I can just say that I speak on behalf of everybody. This is frustrating. We do, Obviously, we, we understand with most games, some of them go down from, from now and again. Uh, well, I must admit, some of the other games that I play that I play online don't have a success a successive amount of issues with server contingency and consistency than uh, than this game anyway as we know a lot of players have time sensitive things and this is a real frustration some players will say right well I have to get Alliance quest done and granted Alliance quest isn't on at the moment I'm just using as a uh, as an example but the example that is quite strong is that Alliance Wars is in place. If you have a significant downtime of the game, then, well, are you going to get a chance to complete the boss kill? Uh, are there going to be like time delays? Are the people aren't able to get in when they need to? Things may be very time sensitive, especially with certain examples of people doing Labyrinth of Legends and finding that they have to get their champs into Alliance Wars Defense, or maybe it's the case that they um, have other things that they have in mind. It doesn't really matter, but the example is that it's frustrating players. And even though it did come back and it did log on whilst I was uh, I was doing the video, um, I, I just love this here. No Kabam, check your connection. Uh, it's 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 just a quite funny because obviously they it goes like oh the problems with your connection no chances are it's your connection problem so far I've seen nothing in the way of response to kind of say you know what has been going on further detail nothing all that's been mentioned is this here by Kabam Sophia which brings everything to 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 light with the IT team and yeah that's that's one that's one aspect but yeah we had before like a little bit of clarity. So I don't know if we'll get the full picture of what what has been going on, and is it going to continue on? Like, what is the what is the issue with this? Because it may not be Kabam's fault. It could be their carrier's fault that uh, there's a problem with the internet, rather than it being a fault with themselves. Either way, my final point is, is I really don't expect to see this, especially in a 72-hour period, as many times as it's happened. I really hope that this gets rectified sooner rather than later, especially with a lot of players really want to get a lot of content done before dungeons come in. And, you know, a lot of us are really fingers crossed for that to work this time and not causing what was rumored to be such an extensive downtime for the game. Next up, and because I'm really hard up for news stories today, we've only got four really, so I've put in a fifth one which is this video here if you really want to laugh and it you know this is like a fun video it's just it's just a good laugh it's me trying to teach my dad how to play marvel contest of champions it's it's got some like funny bits in it uh everyone's been like so so kind of like nice on it um 
So it's got like so high to likes to dislike ratio. Um, but yeah, if you'd like to see a 62 year old man like play Marvel Contest of Champions and have a laugh, um, it was a good video. It was, it was a fun video to film, a fun video to edit, and uh, a lot of you guys really liked it. So uh, I really appreciate the support on it. So if you haven't seen it, go and give it a watch. Next up, and this image here was put together by Marvel Contest of Champions Trucos, and also this was done via David as well. I don't know if David got the information, gave it to Trucos. Trucos and I what Whatever. two people great people put this together and it gives information if you're familiar with blade then you'll know all about his uh, synergies with danger sense and uh, another kind of like helpful stuff with the villain synergy with the stuff that he does with mystics and yeah just just helpful stuff that's going to help you against certain champions that are within the villain synergy that you're going up against it's just helpful information if you've got a blade then use this information to take down enemies Next up, and we've had a lot of negative kind of criticism towards the bosses in this current event quest. So you might have been living under the rock if you didn't know that people don't like Heimdall. They do not like uh, Adaptoy, the uh, super duper Hydra one. And also they don't like Red Skull for different reasons. Now, th this is a two camp situation here. On the one hand, people are going to have the criticism based on the fact that it's not as easy as the last two months. From what I've seen in the, in the last year, Kabam seem to roll out this kind of method of one month is going to be easy, the next month is going to be hard. Now, that then puts them to the other camp, where people that may say, hey, that's not, uh, that's that's really easy, everything that Kabam put out are really easy, and these are largely kind of like end game, highly skilled players, uh, good reaction times. But then there's going to be the other people in the other camp that aren't going to have that huge amount of reaction time. That maybe when bosses change, like the ones that we've seen this month, they're not so easy to get on with. Now, say if you're able to get through Heimdall, then it's going to be a case you'll have Adaptoid and Red Skull. The methods for this are largely squared at Ronan. Now, I myself used Medusa against the Adaptoid, and I found that to work out quite well, especially when the, the way that... Medusa works with one of the with the Daptoids. It's kind of extended from like the robot side of things. It's it's kind of an odd thing to explain, but the long and short of it is, I used Medusa. She worked. She stopped things like regeneration happening quite so much, um, if not at all. And when it came to Red Skull, I was using Ronan quite excessively. Now that was the master version. When I go into the uncollected version, which hopefully will be shortly because I can get back into the game at last. Uh, then I will be using Ronan indeed to take out that uh, difficult Red Skull. And it is a case of the Perma Stun Strikes again. Now, I would use a champion like Hulk because of certain reasons, but he is actually not usable in this circumstance. It is all about Ronan, it's all about the interaction with the buffs and the way that you apply the stuns. And you can do this, I've experimented with L1s, L2s, sometimes putting the L1 and then constant L2s thereafter. Uh, it doesn't really matter how you work it, just that Ronan and that Perma Stun seems to work out pretty darn well. And it looks like someone is obviously doing the best they can master evader master interceptor uh, in shape and form of this two star ronin here this whole post calls for a nerf to the adaptoid but i think it's all about trying to understand how to better the situation now granted people may feel that their devices aren't as good in order to kind of match that they may feel the servers were working on them a bit too hardcore and as a result, maybe things are being a bit too unfair for you. I'd probably say in that instance to turn off your phone, cool it down, get close to the Wi-Fi, turn it back on again, make sure you clean your screen, clear your cache, and give it another crack. And also use champions that are going to be more helpful to you, like Medusa, uh, like Ronan, those two uh, definitely. There's a whole host of different champions. I've seen people use magics. I think it's, uh, again, it goes back to rushing content. A lot of people do this. They'll rush through uncollected, go, oh, this is way too difficult, or, or this isn't working out for me. In that case, if you're finding it difficult, make sure to go back to heroic, do master, and then move on to uncollected. It's not that you should question your ability and feel weak or kind of unmotivated in yourself for kind of getting through that, but you have to understand that you have to understand the champions you're going up against. And if you don't understand them for doing heroic and master, understanding the L ones and even a, like the idea of the of the buffs. Yeah, they're going to change in uncollected, but you're understanding the enemy champions you're facing off against 
And as I've always said, you collect units along the way, you get loads of health potions as well as those revives in Heroica Master and then use them in Uncollected if you find things difficult. It means that your spending unit is lowered down as a result. Next up, and we've got the results in for the arena. As you can see, there's not a huge, well, I'd say, I was going to say there's not a huge surprise. There's not a huge surprise with Black Panther. I thought that this was going to be like 1.5, but it's like 1.67. And uh, that's a pretty, you know, I, it wasn't going to go any higher than that, obviously. It's a basic as well. People want the milestones and all that. Next up, we've got the four-star version of, of Red Skull going for 11 mil. Now, I'm, I'm shocked by this. I'm really shocked. I didn't think there was anything bad with this Red uh, red Skull. I think that, uh, again, people would want to go from for nostalgia purposes. But I got this dead wrong. Like This is probably one of the weeks where I've got my predictions dead wrong. And the four-star version, again, got dead wrong. 11 mil, which was 3 mil off what I predicted. Um... I didn't see that coming. I don't know if maybe people are on summer holidays and they're grinding it out. Does it show the state of affairs in the game where people's interest is kind of right low down and they're doing other things? Or is it because the new quest was launched and people have spent more time questing than they have grinding out arena? I know I am guilty of that. So will this then be bumped up uh, a lot more? It could be that this... This could be the Red Skull at 4 star going for maybe about 13 mil instead of 11 mil. And the same thing with the 5 star version. 5 star version only going for 36.7 mil. Again, way out of my prediction. And I would probably say that that would be bumped up to about 41 mil when it comes to the uh, the round 2 being, being through. As well, the Black Panther Civil War um, is more than likely to go for about the same 1.67 but yeah, I, th I think this must be to do with the event, the event quest side of things, and uh, not anything to do with the, uh, the the fact that there's a drop out of the game. Final story is all about compensation. Now, uh, it's been a bit quiet on the front of the compensation. Whether or not we're talking about compensation for overheating or state of affairs of the game, I'm not quite sure what this is intended at. I think at the time when uh, I was asked the question, and multiple people will ask the question, will we see compensation for the overheating issue? And I think I said at the time, I think that they should do something about it, but I doubt they will. And I think that's very much the case. In this post about compensation, there is no, even though they've been tagged in, no answer from any of the Kabam team that have been copied in to, to answer it. Some people even said that they've gone as far as to private message some of them in order to give an answer to them. Is there going to be any compensation or not? Now, I don't know if certain people are actually on holiday at the moment uh, from Vancouver, whether or not they're deciding to take a chunk of their leave as uh, this is the summer holidays. People, I guess, want to take their summer holidays. But it is, you know, you could say disappointing not to hear an answer on the subject of compensation. But at the same time, are we going to expect it? And the answer, and I'm still going with it, I would have liked them to do something to address it, but I doubt they will. So yeah, uh, you could say the out the out of time the time out from playing the game from say being overheated is an extensive amount to kind of go right. Well, should they give arena boosts? Should they give things that are going to be helpful for progression? Uh, I I really can't comment on that because I don't think they're going to do it. Yes, they should do something, but they probably won't. So that's been your Marvel Contest of Champions news for the sixth of August two thousand eighteen. Not a huge amount of important or interesting stories going on at the moment. Maybe people are on holiday and there's. There's not much kind of going down except for the game. Uh, so yeah, but I'm just going to have to like kick up, kick my heels and make some other kind of content because I don't think there's going to be much news for a little while. Either way, doesn't matter. There's lots of kind of fun things I can develop and kind of work on. So thanks very much for watching the news. Make sure you're liking and subscribing to the channel as the lighting rig turns itself out. So that was a that, that says that I should end the video now. <laughs> thanks very much for watching. I've been Rich the Man. As I said, like and subscribe, and I'll catch you on the flip side. Bye-bye for now.